listening to Lexington Steel Live with Lexington Steel and Michelle G. Right here on LA Talk Radio. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Ladies and gentlemen, we in studio tonight at the Lexington Steel Live Show. We have special guest Allison Moore who has been a, a guest of my one of my shows at some point some time ago. And we have her in here. I called Allison um, in the middle of the day. and She was, you know, happy enough um, that we hadn't spoken so long. And I was happy enough that she agreed to join us tonight. We have John E. Depp in the house. What's up? What's up, man? What's oh, happening? man. It's all good. Now, now, John, you joined us, of course, by way of? Oh, FormulaR3.com. Now, before we go any further, explain what exactly... Or how do you define Formula R3? I know what it is, but the <laughs> gentleman out may need this particular oh. pertinent information. Oh, that's right. The people out in the world, uh, Formula R3 is an all-natural sexual enhancement for men. No prescription needed. It's all-natural extracts. It helps boost your, bu- your blood flow, your stamina, endurance, your mood, while protecting your prostate while you perform. So it's the ultimate pill, so run out and get that. Now, now, what is your? Uh, now, I understand. There's a tagline: "Your girlfriend, she'll do something oh, she'll, in the morning. She'll love you in the morning after uh, you it, take it." You people, you heard it right from my main <laughs> man, Johnny Depp. Now, you that may be familiar correct. with what we do every Tuesday night, right? Um, on the Fourth and Goal show, right? Um, and we, of course, will be moving or creating our a new show, which we call Man Cave Sports Talk. So we will definitely be uh, you know, letting you know when you can catch us. We're looking to join the airwaves as Man Cave Sports Talk um, next week. So we will definitely uh, keep you abreast. But oh, in wow. the meantime, in the in-between time, yes, yes. in the interim, <laughs> if you will, right, right. Allison. <laughs> Hi. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Where are you from? I'm from here, Los Angeles, California. So you're one of the few uh, people. Uh, JD, you're from where? From New York originally. All right. So now, oh, yeah. then it feel like. <laughs> Second favorite city. Well, let me ask you this. As, I mean, is it as as a native Californian or certainly enough as a native, you know, L.A. person, not necessarily just L- California, but L.A. in general, um, do you find that everyone in town is from somewhere else? Like this yes. is a huge destination point. Right. Yes. yes. As well as an people. origin point. Of but course. I mean, a destination right. point from so many different industries. A lot of, it's so a lot of transition. Definitely. A lot of uh, uh, transplants is what I call transplant, them. But you exactly get the same right. in New York, too. Yeah, because everybody's trying to come and make it. Yeah. Yep. Everybody and it's either they go to L.A. Somebody. first and then New York or vice versa. Right. Uh, I don't know which way it turns out, man. Mm. But you If know, you're already in New York, you really do you have to leave. Yeah, you don't have to leave. unless unless you to L.A. Unless you get tired of it and you want a different type of vibe, yeah. so you make your your way out west because people they say there's gold in the hills, man. Ah, <laughs> but they say if you can't make it here, you, if you can make it here, you can make it anywhere yes, in regards right. to New yes, York. Yep. So myself, I'm from New Jersey originally. Yeah, it is. See, what I'm saying out here in LA, I've been out here 17 years. Can you believe wow. it? I, I mean, you, what are you, yeah. Allison? You're like 19. No, I just turned 30. For real? No. Yes. I thought you might have been like 23. No. no. Yeah. No, really? Wow. Yeah. Look at Were you, Thanks. How Carry many years well. you been in the industry? Four years. All right. Oh, so time flies. Right. Time yeah, flies when you're having fun. Yeah. I've been out here for like 12 or 13. <laughs> yeah. I've been out here a minute, man. So, yeah. yeah I, I, if you can get past three years. Mm. Yes. And then it becomes yeah. home. Yeah. yeah. You, might, might you don't well forget say. about where, you know. But no, you don't you want to return. you your roots. Yeah, because uh, let me tell you, the weather is so, I just was like, this That's past weekend I was in New Jersey, it was like 40 degrees. Yes. I was, you know, went to my nephew's football game. We were freezing out there. Right. And uh, and it just got out the plane today, mm-hmm. this afternoon from returning from New Jersey, and it was like, what, like, what 75, was it 75, 75 or yeah. something like that? Something like nice. that. Nice. Crazy, can't, but good. Indeed, but nice. Yeah. yeah. You can't man. beat that, man. Nope. Yeah. No. So, Allison, we, we've worked together um, one time before. And you've been a guest on, on one of my shows before as well. We just spoke about the fact that um, I've seen you in a number of exciting different, you know, Yay. contraptions and, and <laughs> configurations. <laughs> now, now, have you have you guys ever worked together? I've never no. worked with her. Okay. Never I didn't even her. know you were in the business. Yes, I'm just in the bu- Yeah, I'm in the business. But you may know me because I had locks and I cut my hair off. So uh. Samson lost. I didn't lose my power. <laughs> You know, I kind of chopped. You know what? Yeah, I rebirth. think I have met you before, and you did have long hair, long locks. Yeah. yeah. You oh, that now you've always worn those glasses or variations of, or you yeah. always wear glasses. I'm or the okay. Original with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
I yeah. remember you now. Right, right. Yeah. Oh. Okay. yeah. I just cut my hair. But it's still, <laughs> I just cut my hair. <laughs> I just cut my hair. That's it. So. Okay, you guys want to take a call? Sure. And we do one. have an announcement or two after we take this call. Good afternoon. This is Lexus to a live show. Talk to us. Hey, Lexus, this is Long, LJ. Oh, hi, hi LJ. How are you? He's one of my fans. Oh, yeah? He's awesome. Was it OJ? LJ, yeah. LJ. LJ. Okay, that's what's up. What's going on, LJ? Not much. I'm doing well. How was your weekend? Good. Thank you. How are you? I'm doing great. Always great whenever I get a chance to talk to you. Are you watching me right now? Yes, I am. You're looking up. Oh, that's beautiful. not creepy at all. Uh, <laughs> I forget that, you know, they can watch too. Yeah, well, you know, now make sure you have your hands where we can see them, LJ. <laughs> you know, I don't want to. It's not two way video. You well. know, we're not Skyping here, so I'll let you guys do that some other time. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for calling, no. LJ. So, you got any questions for nope. the lady or Johnny Depp? I have a question for Allison. What was her favorite scene and why? My favorite scene? Yes. I've done so many, I can't remember. Um, God. I should say Lex's because he's right here. And he's no, I, no, I, no, I, I, no I, I wouldn't be insulted at all. I mean, um, you know, my first scene with Mike Adriano was awesome. Now, what do you mean? That was your first scene or your first scene with him? My very first scene was ever. with him. Ever. Wow. Yeah. So, so you went in with a very strong performer right off the bat. Yeah, it okay. was, I was so nervous. <laughs> I mean, like, I get nervous before, a new perf- before I perform with a new performer. Oh, okay, like, that you haven't worked with. New to me, you yeah. know what I mean, right. that I haven't worked yeah. with before. Exactly. Um, I think that's good, though. I, I like to have the little bit of, not nervousness, but, Maybe like. Curiosity. It's good anticipation. Energy. Anticipation. It's things good like energy. that. Yeah, it's good. good. It's yeah. good. Yeah. You know. All right, LJ. Well, thanks Thank for calling. You. Anytime. Thank you, and happy Thanksgiving. Happy All right, Thanksgiving man, to Thanksgiving. you, too. All right, thanks a lot. Yay. You know, that's the one thing about um, being performers. There's so much... Uh, mental mm-hmm. gameplay, you know, going on. Obviously, we we need the the, the 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 physical is necessary, but Lord knows. I mean, I talk about this all the time. How the, the mental game is is primary mm-hmm. to doing porno because you got to take your your mind a certain place. I had a discussion with someone last week, and and it was the notion of what are the two. Actually, it was during an interview. The guy asked me what are the two primary elements necessary. Mm-hmm. And I told him as a male performer, it was focus. Mm-hmm. And for a female performer, it was escapability. And mm-hmm. what I meant by that is, you know, we have to focus in order to, to maintain our erections, in order to, to shut everybody out, in order to focus on the girl so we can maintain that erection. But the reason why I, I, I use the word escapability as a, for the female performers, and you can, you can tell me whether I'm wrong or right with this, Allison. Mm-hmm. You know, do you feel that sometimes you have to maybe remove yourself from a circumstance, your your body's there, but you you know it might be like something you want to be somewhere else, but you got to get it done. And we're performers here. I don't know. I'm pretty um, shallow, and um, <laughs> no, you- <laughs> uh, I know this is terrible. Um, but like, I'm like emotionally closed off. I really am. So mm. it's like to me, it's just fun. So it's like I don't. I used to be like maybe not escape, but like try to find I'm just like a guy I try to find something about the person I'm yeah. working with that I like yeah, yeah. and exactly. um so that I'm like not a desert down there either oh yeah so you got a little bit of cash flow exactly you know, not <laughs> so, for nothing for lack of a better term I know right <laughs> um and it's funny because it's like when you've worked with someone um a few times it's a little bit easier because you know each other's yeah. likes and don't likes um but I don't know. Um, I actually I focus a lot because I want to do a good performance mm-hmm. and I want to make sure I'm opening up and I want to make sure like I can sense his body and right. how he's doing. Like, okay, this isn't working for him. I gotta I gotta do something yeah, do different some, yeah. because it's not just his job. It's fifty percent my job. Well, you see, know? not a lot of girl. I wish more girls had that attitude across right. the board because it's a job. It really yeah. is. But I mean, and like, have a, you been in circumstances where 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 your the female talent, your counterpart, mm-hmm. will leave you like out to dry? I mean, it's, I've experienced that where my female counterparts maybe were not yeah. in, or chose not to be engaged mentally, right? And, and they're left escaped. me out. To, yeah, yeah. They're in their they've own left world. the building. <laughs> Elvis has left the building. <laughs> exactly. well, you, you know, you know, the funny thing with me is like people always thought I was I was strange when I used to say stuff like this. I'm like, I always try to like. Get the girl's energy. Like, what yeah. is your energy like? Like, I mean, are we exchanging good energy? Because if we are, 
it's going to be the 4th of July in there. Yeah, right. just, exactly. Because we're feeling each other. But, I mean, I, I mean, a few times I've had a girl, like, hang me out there. But you know what? Like you said earlier, that's where your mental comes in. Then you, then yeah. as, a, yes. as a male performer, yeah. you have to, in a, in, a, in, a, in a sense, you have to escape. Like, okay, take my mind somewhere. Yeah. That's going to turn me on because if she's not going to help me, yeah, you know, it and, be, you know, right, and a lot exactly. of times, you know, it's not the, you know, as they say, it's not the female's job to help you, you know, because you, but you know, yeah, it is. You want that? Like I said, it's yeah, forty percent yeah. my job. But exactly, you want that interaction. <laughs> okay, well then, let me ask you this then, both of you then. Okay, what about the circumstances where the guy isn't giving? The female, what she needs. I mean, do, have you found that? And and, and, and as directors, I mean, now, now Johnny, let me just as 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 so we know a little bit more about Johnny. Not the performer, the, the producer, the executive. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the name of your company? Depth Entertainment Family. And you've been a director for how many years? Ah oh, man, I mean, since I came out the gate, man. Let's see. Uh, I'm telling on myself. <laughs> Hold on, think, let's age yeah, yourself. Yeah, a yeah bit. let me get myself. Let me calculate. I think around. 2000, 2001, because, you know, I was doing it on the East Coast, mm -hmm. but I was uh, taking yeah. out the trunk of my car. Okay. I was hustling it like that. Wow, well, you did a two yeah, short style. I was doing it like yeah, that. Yeah, I like so that. So at that time, it was kind of like, you know, just me and my man working together because, you know, he, he he's he's a freak in a sense. Yeah. You know, he liked the watch. He's a voyeur. And I love women. I love getting it on. So it was a, it was a, and a bit of an yeah, exhibitionist. Perfect. We're all our right. exhibitionists. Yeah, well. yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, and, you know, yeah. that's the way we set it up. But we always thought about, you know, like I said earlier, like getting good energy. And that's what I shoot for. Like you get some people like what you were saying earlier is like opening up. Like that's true. I said, but sometimes like when I used to shoot my stuff, I still do. I don't really concentrate on like I need you to open up some, but if you like really in the mix, yeah, no, and exactly, this, and this and this popping. There's certain companies that let you it know, cook. yeah, exactly, yeah. that are a little bit more lenient. Right. Like uh, Wicked's one of those that are like I'd rather it be natural, yeah. than uh, well, it, you know, it also becomes responsibility of the videographer to be able to find the that's shot. True. Exactly. exactly. That's a so lot true. of a lot of videographers want mm -hmm. the performers exactly. to perform gymnastics it's because they have an inability to not only see the shot but also go and get the shot. There you go. Exactly. Some of the best so shots are, are, right. are can be found if you're willing to find an angle. There you go. Yeah. And that may not need and it's, need, there. And yeah. it's there. Exactly. The performers may not right. need to. But, exactly. but but I I wanted to ask you have you have you felt that it become or has become or is not as important um for the guys to deliver oral to the female counterparts. Because I know in my productions, um, I do it by rote. I mean, sometimes I'll choose to do it, right. sometimes not. It's not a mandatory thing. But, a, a, you know, fellatio mm -hmm. is like 100% um, integral right. to the beginning well, of any scene. So how do you right. feel about that? Mm -hmm. um, Good question. I think it's a lot of fan base likes and dislikes when it comes to that. A lot yeah. of fan base do like... The um, build up for the guy with the fellatio. Mm -hmm. I, I like doing it, and it's an, a good pause if he's having a hard time or I'm having a hard time in the scene to mm -hmm. just for both of us to regroup. Well, I hate saying that, but it, it's a good yeah, regrouping go to. Yeah. Right. And, and Am you know, I right? <laughs> but sometimes, like, if I feel like I'm kind of falling off. I will go down on the girl to kind of, it's almost like a re-registration, yeah. if right, you will. Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And you're like, okay, and then you get your footing, and then right. you go back to right. registration. Yeah, exactly. But you know what, Lex, as, as a male performer, and you can attest to this, like, every male should know his trigger. Like, right. Mm. What turns you on. Exactly. You know, like, yeah. I know, like, a certain part of my body, if I ask you to touch or rub there, Oh, best believe he's gonna rise because I already know my I know my trigger point. and the reaction. Right. I know gonna, my reaction yeah. I'm gonna get because I've been doing this you know for so long. But that's the worst thing to have a, a female that's sitting there sucking you off and nothing's happening. It's just like your your little man yeah. is just sitting there. I think there that's like, why I think that's <laughs> why it's good before a scene to ask what you like and there dislike. You go. Right. Um, communication. Communication, yeah, yeah well, definitely. I don't remember if I did that with you. I don't remember. I don't, I, I don't you think know, so. I, don't I, was, really, I was just so nervous because I was like, oh my God, Kiara well, Mia's my friend not, and I don't want to piss her off and I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> well, for me, the, the first question I always ask is whether we're doing anal or not. And, yes. You know, because, you know, I know if we are, that's something that she's probably been thinking about 
course. for a lot longer than yeah. I I just thought of it because for guys yeah it's usually it's like a sixth and seventh position mm. but yes. for women it's a whole process yeah, of preparation right. yeah. and what have you exactly Google and anal skill prep. set that's yep. what I tell people Google was that it? Google, Google anal it? prep yeah. oh my God. yeah there it is well people ask me I'm like dude just Google it it's well, different yeah, for everybody well, what, what, mm. uh, a lot of females they walk around with a butt plug in there. In it. Or yeah. go to sleep the night before. Yeah, the night before. Is that necessary no. for you? Or? I don't know. No, I don't. I, I mean, yeah. like, I eat light the day before. Yeah, and, right. Um, Good for you. Yeah, I don't eat really during the day. Yeah. Um, I would. Yeah. You the, need some to, people do the gummy bears and stuff, but I like Gatorade. Oh, okay. Well, um, yeah, you need to pass some of that knowledge on to some yeah. of these chicks gummy out here bears. because they have no idea. Yeah. Okay, now. But ask Bonnie that, Rotten. She's all about the gummy bears. Okay, <laughs> so <clears throat> I'm not uh, familiar with that. Obviously, for because the sugar and it's like <laughs> I mean I wouldn't know about, yeah. but um so tell us about that Alex. <laughs> the, the gummy bears. The gummy well, you know no no you know why in particular because there's going to be some of our our viewers that are female mm-hmm. and they yeah. need to learn they may need to learn something well yeah, yeah I mean about? obviously like uh, educate. Yeah. Google anal prep for the essentials but then it's uh, some of us girls you know some girls like to drink you know Pedia Short and stuff like that just because you what haven't is that? really it's um like um. Like electrolyte drink. Okay. Um, it's kind of like Gatorade. I say um a lot. Sorry. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> it's like Gatorade, but it's a little bit a little more. more oh, it's those for good kids. Stuff, so yeah. okay. um, oh, I like wow. Gatorade personally. Um, some girls oh, like. Oh, Pedia, you said. Pedia, sure. Oh, okay. It's so like I've when kids are like. Yeah. 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 Okay. 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 When kids are sick, you give it to them. Right, students, right, right. Electrolytes and all that mm-hmm. stuff. So, um, and then some girls like snacking on gummy bears because it really doesn't do anything for you throughout your system but mm-hmm. it does have sugar in it and it mm-hmm. kind of keeps you so it gives you the necessary you know you know awake energy energy you you <laughs> that, you do, that you would get from eating a regular meal right exactly which you're denying yourself right. because you don't want to have anything in the in the toaster right oh, exactly wow. you don't have a loaded you know anything loaded in the cans yeah, no. in the right no, I get it. It's kind of a and it's kind of a joke when like girls are like posting pictures of Gatorade and gummy bears. I mean, and see, some like guys won't now. get it, yeah, but like, I hey, know I know what tomorrow is. I, uh, I got it now. I got it now. <laughs> so I'm saying we like to educate you guys. Yeah. Right. So if you see I girls are like, just that. go into the store and they got their gummy bears and Pediasure and Gatorade. They're, about to do it anal. they're gonna be doing anal within the wow. next day or two. <laughs> Incredible. So when you um, when did you start doing anal? Is this something you did before did porno? Yeah, well, no, I started, I did anal in my personal life a few okay. times. A um, few times, or you were like a regular, you knew what you were doing. I knew what I was doing. Okay. I mean, okay. it was not like every week I was doing it, but mm. like every so often. Okay. Um, And I liked it in my personal life, so if I, I figured, I was always told, make sure you do something in your personal life before you do it. And yeah. Porn. Um, no surprises. No surprises. Well, it's hard. Sometimes, sometimes there are things you can't experience until you're already in. In yes. Those. I mean, you know, a three on one is not something that would happen. You know, yes. I mean, not, well, not, I mean, it's been, <laughs> it's been known to happen. Um, <laughs> in your house? <laughs> well, but it was three women. Uh, you, know, you know, a reverse gangbang. A reverse a mini gangbang. Not, it doesn't have it often. I love the idea of that. That's so fun. I've it's only seen a few. Yo, know, it's fun when it happens. Like, I mean, you've, you've had a two or like a two on one with girls or, or multiple it's girls. Yeah. It's more fun. Yeah. But, I'm not talking on camera, but I'm saying in your personal life. Oh yeah, I've had a yeah. Yeah, it's doubled much up. having mo- having multiple doubled women in your purse in a personal yes. episode. Mm-hmm. It's a lot that's different. A, it's a lot different. It's less. It's not as challenging, or it is. It's challenging, mm-hmm. but it's it's you, there's no pressure because it's not like there's no pressure. But you also yeah. got to make sure those those two girls are like into each other in a sense. Because I've I've had some incidents where the girl got jealous of the other girl, and they start fighting over the dick. Like, yo, wait which a isn't a bad you're thing, yeah, I mean, you, you know. know I mean, to, yeah, to the extent. But you want me? Yeah. I want to spread the love equally. Yeah, I'm an yeah. equal opportunist. <laughs> I'm gonna spread it around the room, but and especially yeah. when they're grabbing you and they're holding you yeah, and they're fighting so over. Like, wait a minute, ex- ex- yeah, it's exactly. actually attached to me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you know what I'm mean? saying? Yeah. Like, still attached. You know, like pull this off, and I'm gonna scream. Right. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> So um, one of the things I want to get out there, it is, um, of course, November 24th. We are in the week of Thanksgiving, which is one of our most popular um, holidays of the um, American culture. So we will celebrate um, the fruitfulness of our harvest, which is the origins of the Thanksgiving holiday. So for many people that will be joining their family and friends um, you know, you know, and traveling to visit family and friends. We hope you make it there um, and enjoy the holiday. Make sure right. you 
um, eat well, but as you're eating well, well, certainly enough, do not forget um, to appreciate the fact that uh, we do have certain luxuries, which include perhaps a full meal, if not only one day of the year. Yes. And of course, we want to, and when we're doing that, we want to give thanks to our armed forces, both here and abroad, domestically and internationally, whereas they are very, very far from home. And it's our love and energies that will make them feel, if only a little bit, of the love that we could have extended to them if they were at the table with us. So we w- want to keep them in mind as well. Um, That's and so uh, true. It, it's it's certainly enough. I mean, yeah, I mean, it is yeah. one of the major American holidays. Like, yeah. well, yeah. U.S. America mm-hmm. holidays. And, you know, it's kind of sad if you think about it. What? For the military that don't get to be there oh, with their families. Because no. yeah, it's a major yeah. holiday yeah. for us. So. But you know what? I guess, you know, I, and I've never been in the military, but, but you know, the, I understand that it is like your second family. Yes. Mm-hmm. You know, yes. and so when we, you know, and, the, and the think about the guys over there, um, man, can you imagine being like, um, I don't know, I, I would never consider working on the other side of the world. Yeah. But if you're like, you know, you signed up. You're in the military, yeah, and they say you, you got to go to. We're you know you're yeah. we're sending you to Antarctica. Antarctica. <laughs> I know. What are you gonna do? You know you gonna go to Antarctica. You're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna hang out with some penguins. Yeah, you know? it is. yeah. <laughs> you're like, oh exactly. man, you know what I'm saying. So we want to say thank you to those people um, as well. So look, um, people, um, as as we know that there's Monday night football going on. Yep. Uh, Was Baltimore. Baltimore and New Orleans, and then is is aren't the Jets the Jets? Yeah, the Bills? Jets and the Bills are playing tonight as too. well in Detroit. Right. Okay, because of the snow in Buffalo. Certain, yeah, certain markets can get it though. Not, yeah. every, it's not across the board. Okay. So. All right. Well, All right. I know um, there's some options, but for those of you that are joining us here on the Lex Live Show here on Monday night, you can reach us at eight one eight five seven zero five zero eight five. Once again, simply eight one eight five seven zero five zero eight. Five. Now, there's some stuff we can. We I wanted to make sure that we addressed mm-hmm. um, the circumstances that are, are taking place even as we speak. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, a number of months ago, we uh, a young man's life was lost in Ferguson, Missouri. Yep. Um, there was some questionability as to did he have to uh, did he have to die? Did he have to be shot six times? Uh, by an officer who was 153 feet away. Mm. Um, we don't know that, but we do have the decision from the grand jury that was put together in uh, out of Clayton, Missouri, um, of 12 individuals um, uh, who, who chose not to, um, or the prosecutor, you know, presented it to the grand jury, and the grand jury decided to not indict, um, uh, what was his name, Wilson? Darren. Yes. Darren Wilson, yes. Darren Wilson, I think, Officer I think Darren so. Wilson. So you know, so well, let's talk about that. I mean, obviously, um, you know, and and I was a little bit late getting to the studio this evening because I was watching CNN. Yeah, which I is, was reading up on CNN. Before yeah, I came everybody's here. Yeah. on the edge of their seats. You know, yeah. with bated breath. And then mm-hmm. on top of that, I was when I was almost people. I I, I was, you know, had the volume on the TV turn up, right while I'm showering and dressed. And then uh, Obama, President Obama, came on and spoke as well. And that's mm-hmm. why I left the house a little bit late. Oh, I didn't even know he spoke. I mean, yeah. I, I, I'm a big reader. Mm-hmm. So it's like I like reading it. Mm-hmm. I'm not a huge TV watcher. Well, it's got to be tough yeah. from a standpoint a- of, well, well, in terms of President Obama, because, you know, you want, I, and I'm watching it, I'm like, man, that's not, you can look at, you can look at his excerpt and see there was like, in my opinion, he wasn't saying what he wanted to say. Mm. Yeah. He was saying what was yeah. like the, the very PC yeah. because he's a president for, for all Americans, mm-hmm. not just wow. he, he, one element of culture. Right. Yeah. You know, but, That's but tough. yeah, because it was like, it was like, wow. Like if you, if you had a body language expert, watch that, they yeah. would, they would have a whole, it would be interesting. Would I'm going to have to watch part, that huh? it, would, it would be a whole different. I didn't know that he spoke. Yeah, oh, wow. I didn't, that's what I was about, yeah, I knew I, I was about that. to leave, wow. and they said, and pre- we'll hear from President uh, Barack Obama, you know, shortly. And I was like, oh man, I looked at my, my <laughs> looked at my watch, like, all right, uh, I, I got, got like five minutes, you know, <laughs> I can speak a little bit more to get to the studio. Um, so, you know, I've had experiences, uh, and certainly enough, not to the extent of what has transpired, but, um, you know, what is it about um, our country that is revealed when we see these things happen? Um, to put in proper perspective, if we were not Americans, perhaps if we were British, mm-hmm. right, 
or, or, or Italian and we were, you know, or Argentine and we were watching this. Right. Right. So not for nothing. You ever watch BBC? Oh, right. Watch oh, yeah. their news. You oh, gotta yeah. watch oh. BBC right. news. So different. Right. People. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, let me tell you something. Definitely. You'll have a different perspective. You want to? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you want to find out? You want to find out what people think of us as Americans? Watch BBC. Um, my sister-in-law lives in France, and she's um, she's all like, "Oh my gosh, French French news totally different." And mm. When she lived in Switzerland. Mm. Swiss news totally yeah. different. Yeah. yeah, you'll really know what they think about us wow. over there. <laughs> yeah, they wow. be, you know, as when uh, when the prosecutor complete the prosecutor completed, um, you know his 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 speech his delivery, mm-hmm. um, they, he was accepting questions, mm-hmm. and um, first like the first guy that spoke was a CNN dude that was pretty much on all day today, um, and then there was another correspondent from another major. Um, you know, another major channel, yeah, we'll right? It. And then there was like two people with the, with the BBC voices. Oh god! So you knew they weren't like from like U- U.S. media, right? Yeah. And they laid into them. They were like, "Well, how many?" <laughs> and I'm like, "Yeah, get in that ass, <laughs> ask that dude that question." Well, because to them, it's like it's, it's for absurd. BBC, it's it's absurd because yeah. first of all, their police officers don't carry guns, right? right. And it's just a matter of. This is right. This is okay, wrong. Okay, let me ask you this. I mean, not for nothing. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Let's be real here. Mm-hmm. I think there's literally no skewed. way that like office. No, I'm just saying there's literally, <laughs> and for for all reasons, but there's literally no way in the United States of America that an officer could not walk around armed. Yeah. I mean, you know, here in the states. Well, I mean, I feel safe walking around in like South Central or Compton, but that's because I'm from here. Yeah. You know. But well, like, I, I mean, I feel I'll, safe I'll, walking around Beverly Hills. As yeah. a matter of fact, but no, no, quite the contrary. I, I would feel more safe walking around Compton, if you will, mm-hmm. or, 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 you know, uh, where else? Uh, even if we were in Chicago or Red Hook, you know, somewhere in Brooklyn, right? right, right yeah, right. I, I would mean, be much I, more, I'll take the subway at 12 o'clock at night. Yeah, I don't but, feel... Okay, but ironically enough, point being is I would feel more comfortable walking in Compton than I would feel at night, at mm-hmm. twelve thirty at night, than I would feel walking somewhere in Beverly Hills mm-hmm. at twelve thirty night. Because if I'm walking in Compton at twelve thirty night, I'm not gonna get approached by an officer or a cop. I'm not doing anything wrong. But right. if I'm walking in Beverly Hills at twelve thirty midnight, I'm gonna get stopped by a security guard, much that that may be George Zimmerman. Mm. Oh, and then I we know. might be talking then you're about really you know, yeah. So exactly. it's just a case where the, you it's, know these it, are it the things that we got to look at. I mean, and right? I mean, you, one would think that that the 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 risk factors exist only in one element of society, mm-hmm. right? But the risk factors are are as evident and as tangible. It's it's sad in different and, and across the board. Totally, I mean, it's because it's like I could walk in Beverly Hills at twelve. Mm-hmm. No one's gonna bug me, right? I mean, a security guard might be like, "Are you? Do you need help, ma'am? Yeah. You know, something like that." Yeah. You know, I mean, but that's, I mean, that's being just, a woman. Just, just to keep it, just to keep it real. Keep one hundred. Keep it one hundred. I mean, you know, as a black man, you're an endangered species, man. I mean, let's really call it what it is. Like, there's certain places you can't walk without being, you know, being targeted. No matter what you're wearing. No matter you what know? you're wearing. No you know, what. And you can attest to this, Lex, because we we've both worked. In Fortune 500 mm-hmm. environments, uh, environments, corporate environments, corporate finance, environments. Yeah. Mm-hmm. and you can come to. I've come to work fully suited and booted, smelling good and everything. Oh, I like that, I like <laughs> that you know term, suited and booted. Suited and booted, you know, <laughs> with my attaché case. You yeah. know, I'm going up in there, and th- not for nothing, but I get on the elevator with a white lady, and she clutches her purse. Okay, well now, now let me ask you this. I'm just but like, like but why? Me, wow, but okay, okay, <laughs> no, I, I get that, and so right. have, I've had that by way of experience as well. But as devil's advocate, right? Would you would you be in some way agreeable that if a guy walks into an elevator with a woman and she's alone, any woman may feel a necessity to clutch her bag, even if the guy that came on the elevator was white or black Check or not? This out. Not, not you don't have the right to clutch your, your purse if you've seen me several times, uh-huh. and you know I work in this building. But now you're you isolated. See, yeah, I mean, but, but I'm saying, no, yeah, but her, now matter. I'm just playing devil's advocate. Right. Maybe her uncomfortability might be right. based I, on. I understand what you The saying. proximity of right. No, I understand. Somebody That's a good isolated point, in an elevator. Maybe you may feel threatened, but if you see me, yeah, every day, yeah, <laughs> like why? Yeah. If I was going to harm you. Yeah. 
first of all, why would I harm you in this environment? Like, yeah. you're in the elevator. There's a camera Where right over there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, like, and first of all, if I get stuck in this elevator right. with you, I want and it to be you know, know, kosher. <laughs> and, I know, and, I, and I know as a woman, you know, and, and as they should, you know, they see a man, um, especially as a strange man, mm-hmm. you know, you know, sizable or whatever. Yeah. But if I see you every day. Yeah. It's like, hey, yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, like, maybe oh. I'm too trusting, but I, I'm like, I try to be just nice and uh, appropriate to everybody yeah, because yeah, that's should. what I want yeah, in return. that's what I want in return. You and, know? Like, and sometimes, like. But then again, like, it's like, I grew up here in L.A. where it's very culturally different, very culturally. you know? Well, what do you mean? The, the variety, the mix. Yeah, There's a lot yeah, of different. Right, mix. right, and, okay. Um, yeah. You know, it's like you grow up going to Chinatown and yeah. eating Dinner right. there, yeah. you go to like, and, then, and so next week you're in, you're yeah. eating Mexican, and then you're going to Roscoe's Chicken and yeah. Waffles right. at yeah. like right. five at like yep. you there know you ten go. o'clock at night. You yeah. just came home from Disneyland, you go to Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles with your family. It's an, it's not a big yeah. deal, right? You know, but at the same time, Lex, if you see a person, you know, and you know they're sagging, underwear showing, you know, just 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 looking a mess, look looking a hot mess, <laughs> right? You know, I mean. You're going to look at that person like, even I'm going to walk to the other side of the street like, nah, my man looks suspect. Let me go. Well, well okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, but, you know, okay, now, you know, now, you know but, we, but okay, I, I would, you know, it's for purpose of argumentation, I would simply say that the way that a person is dressed may not be in, always indicative of his intentions. That is true. But Whereas if a dude is sagging, okay, right. not for nothing. Obviously, now the definition of sagging would be when the gentlemen, and they're not even gentlemen, they're young men who who have which is a know, style that came from jail. It's a style, but yeah, right? Yeah, that right. came from jail, okay. but we won't we won't touch won't. upon that. Right yeah. There. So <laughs> now, when they're sagging, that doesn't necessarily mean that 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 dude is in any way someone that I would have to be. I would just simply say, man, you know, perhaps his style of dress is is different than mine. Like, but you but never know. You know. Because there's the same kid that's walking around like, right. well, you know. That, that's I'll true, tell you but the it, situation. Oh. It's mm-hmm. like um, I was in the valley and I was picking up a friend late at night um, to go out. And there was a whole bunch of kids playing basketball. And I was legitimately lost. So I rolled mm-hmm. out my window and I was like, hey, you know, can you point me in the right direction? And they're like, oh, my God, you're not scared to talk to us? I was like, no, why would I be scared to talk <laughs> to you? Like, what, I'm a white girl see, by yeah. myself in my car? No, I don't care. But see, you know what that you know what that yeah. does the <laughs> sagging and this that 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 has a negative connotation mm-hmm. in society because it does it's, yeah it, yeah I mean okay. and you may and like I said he may be sagging yeah. or whatever and his hat to the side yeah. or whatever and he may be one of the coolest dudes yeah. right exactly like yeah. I'm like hey I'm but boss can you point me to the yeah, right direction right. But and as then humans, them being surprised that I'm right. talking to them I'm like. But as humans, and I get that. Yeah, but we at have the same a perception. Time, yeah, we have a perception. It's, 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 it's like, interesting. I was, you know, looking at this kid earlier today at the airport, the skinny jean yeah. thing, mm-hmm. and and I don't know. It's just there. There are what different. What was your first thought when you saw that? Honestly, I I thought he was. I thought he was half a fag. There I, I mean, and I, I, and I, I'm <laughs> sorry. And I, I mean, yo, I, you look, I, I mean, you know what? Absolutely, it's correct. <laughs> not, not for, you know, and, and certainly enough, that would be considered a derogatory term. And forgive me for using such terms. Right. But it is something that I am an East Coast guy. I just got back from home, and this is the way we speak you back in New dose. York. It just mm-hmm. kind of slipped. Yeah. Um, and I don't want to be held responsible for the, <laughs> the like, New York mean, But keeping it real, that would yeah. be your perception. Yeah. Because, listen. I not that it written. mattered, right. but, I mean, I was just, like, thinking to myself, like, yo, you, you know, dude. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But by the same token, when I was his age, right? Like, say, for instance, when I was in... I shouldn't have said that. I can't believe I said that. You, when it's I, okay. When You're chilling on yourself like me, man. <laughs> Go ahead really and old, drop man. it, man. When I, no, when I was in college, I used to wear the big... I was in, you know, my era, our era. Of course. Because we're, know. you know, I'm a little bit... I'm a year or two older than you, Maybe, but our... yeah. Not we, by much. We, right. But right. our generation ushered in the saggy jeans. There it is. Like, we're the ones that... But, exactly. but, but, right. no, oversized pants. Say, oversized. Maybe, oversized. You know, Everything not oversized. Sagging. Everything they sag right. because they were oversized. Right. Now, guys, are the, 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 the pervasive the term sagging <laughs> is, yeah. Right. And I never got that. But I don't know. I you ever seen anybody try to sag skinny jeans? That is, is little I've Wayne. seen it. I seen how do you way. do that? I don't know. How do you set? I mean, when you're, if you're I've paying, seen it, yeah, but, but it, looks, you, it looks awkward, and you're like, Dude. yeah, like how do okay. you how do you do that? Like your pants <laughs> are like super tight, but they're sagging. I'm like, hmm. you know, I see, no, I see it too. It's <laughs> like it's like I don't know. I I don't know I don't how know. guys get into those because you know the the tight the skinny jeans. Women have had those for that's been a part yeah, of yeah. women yeah. forever. Like, like it's spandex. like the stretchy, yeah. right? Right. I couldn't. My legs are too big. Um, all three of them. Touche. Touche. 
He was all three. Yeah, 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 I couldn't. Yeah. There's this older guy at the gym that has this like huge bulge in his pants, and I'm like, damn, either he's got something wrong going down the, there, or he's the packing. He's older dude. Old dude. Yeah. Older dude. Was it? Yeah. My trainer you and I at, are like, damn. Are you looking at penis or are you looking at balls? I don't know. We don't because know. Because as men, as the age, because he's wearing kind of they're... you know baggier pants, and you can still see the huge bulge. I'm like, I'm so curious. Well, maybe he saw you. You know. <laughs> yeah, I, man, I don't. Know, he might have been looking at you before you saw him. <laughs> before you looked at him, he had been looking at you. Right, right. Like, oh, man. so his pants wasn't extra tight. They were loose. No, they were loose, and you oh, could see yeah. like maybe he got bulge. big nuts. That's what yeah. I was thinking. Yeah, got big ball. Like, maybe he got blue ball. I don't know. <laughs> Shoot, I don't know. Mm. I mean, it, you know. or maybe, maybe, maybe I dude is always, packing. I was, I, that's what I was yeah, like. Yeah, maybe he dude. Yeah, he hung. Yeah. No, he, he hold, probably got to look at you and got a little chub going. So every time maybe. you look at him, he's, he's, he's like, like oh, got about oh. maybe like twenty five percent. You know what I'm saying? Where you got a little flow, <laughs> little size going. You so, know. So so you do you do. But look, I was just wondering, like, how does a man like that wear like skinny jeans? Do most mm. girls mm. look for the bulge oh, when they look at a man? Look. Really? Just like you guys always look at the tits, we always look. Uh, I, see, like I said, I'm emotionally closed off, so it's like I always look at that. So yeah, you always. You know do. I'm so perverted. But you know what? I feel <laughs> no. But you know, John, when you say that. Like me personally, right? Mm. I'm more of a, I'm actually a grower, not so much of a shower. So if someone's looking for a package for me, I see they might saying. be like, oh, Lex, there's no way that he's, you know, that can't be his because he, you know. Right. And I'm like, yo, like if I had, you know, if I got excited, then I could represent in such a way that you would, there would be some believability to the mythical size that I, that I deliver. But, and of course, but studies show that this, that when you start off small, like if you're small like that or average, mm -hmm. you're going to. When you get when you when you get the blood flow going, yeah. you're gonna really get big. That you you end up you're you're yeah, higher. You, yeah, you it, really expand. Okay. That's how it is. Because you know you got it's some like an dude, accordion, right? Mm. So <laughs> a guy, so there's <laughs> a guy <laughs> that it, when a, in a latent state would be impressive. Like he, you know, when he's just chilling, he's like, wow, his dick is massive. Yeah, but then when he right. get, when but it, they start, but it, it doesn't really go. It, it, doesn't, really, it just stands it's up. It's a shower. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like yeah. you said. But yeah. it does it does draw the female in because the females look at him like that must uh, grow to be big. Exactly. Really? Exactly. You know, it's I used like to reverse psychology. Meat gazing is what we used to call it. Meat gazing. When when a girl's school, checking out a dude? Yeah, it's checking uh, his package out. What do you, you call mean, what do you meat call? gazing? Uh, not meat gazing. <laughs> Just checking guys yeah. out. Just checking out his package. Yeah. Hey, do you like it's all good. Okay, is there any truth to women? Their enjoyment of NFL or NFL college football in general mm. it does have a lot to do with the the, the uniforms and the pants. Oh, of the course they look right. good in that. Yeah. Hello. So you're looking at the booty most of the time. See how tight they it is. Do have tight asses? See? Isn't that nice? Most see. You know, I, what <laughs> I'm saying, he's like, hmm. you know, no, no, no. You know, and, and okay, and, and I love booty. where we're going with this. I love where we're going with this um, <laughs> because I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna ask you this good. then, Allison. <laughs> okay, would you then feel? Okay, there's been an argument that the popularity of the WNBA has been um, stunted because the there is no you know, there's no sexiness as an attribute to these athletic women who are running up and down the court playing a game that we all love and playing it at a high skill set. Yeah, you right? know, it's I been just argumentative. Think it's awesome. No, I know that, but I've, it's argumentative and the question is this. Do you or would you feel offended if the team started wearing tight shorts? Or a, a tighter top. As a woman, as a woman, yeah. would you feel would you feel a disrespect or, or, or an objectification if yeah. all of a sudden the LA Sparks were wearing if their shorts weren't big and baggy, but like like tra track athletes, yeah. which which if, if you look at track athletes, you if you look, look at gymnasts, it's like swimmers. We're looking at butt naked women in sport all the time. Why not NBA? Yeah. I mean, would you feel up to the, they would objectify I'd themselves? I, I, I think they would, honestly, because it's like it's basketball. It's basketball. You kind of want to be like loose fitting because right, you're right. moving a lot and you're sweating a lot. I just don't think it'd be very comfortable to wear like a gymnastics or swimsuit. Okay, well, then I will you know? offer this to you. I, I, I see you and I raise you, <laughs> right? <laughs> and from, I don't, I'm yeah. not a card player, but right, I know the terminology, right? right? right, right, right. <laughs> Look I at volleyball you. players. Oh, yeah. Wow. Look at volleyball players, right? Oh. Let me tell you something. Not for, hey, people, I'm not a pervert. As you oh. know, your man Lex Steele is not a pervert. I just enjoy sports. They're but just let me as tell you muscular something. as basketball players. Dude, oh nah, nah, let me tell you something. You watch, like, college volleyball mm -hmm. or, or, yeah. or, or Olympic-level volleyball. And they're wearing little sports bra. Oh, my God. They're like, <laughs> they're like shorts. They're 20 women. They're all six foot and 
Every one of them is hot. Yep. They're like six foot, six three. Yep, like I'm six two, you. and I know that I've seen some of them. They were like such a six six. I'm like, that's the hottest six six. You know, you know. I was watching. Um, maybe those are just the ones that choose volleyball versus basketball. Yeah, because it's yeah. mostly the same athlete. You know, mm-hmm. the same. It's like it's the, the, same. the volleyball right. players. Is, is, is you know muscles, same everything. Yeah. You know, yeah, tall, at, tall uh, super exactly. athletic. But the volleyball players are all hot. I was watching. I think it was Texas. Mm. Versus um, Arizona, oh my and you're like, god! Hmm, it was almost. I might I said, record this for later. Let me tell you, it was almost <laughs> masturbatory. But I said, look, I said, you know what? I really would be playing myself if I literally started masturbating <laughs> to a volleyball game because the women were so. Hot. But hey, every man, if it's sexy, man, it's sexy. Yeah, but I mean, you know, I would feel bad like if. If someone walked in on me, oh. yeah, I got the volleyball yeah. game on. I'm chilling, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <Getting> <laughs> got my weed, off, right? <laughs> got my cigarettes, got my bottle, ooby lube. <laughs> so then, just getting it in. <laughs> you know just what I'm saying? watching a volleyball yeah. game. I got a little table, right, that I have all that I keep on my right side, right? You know, I have all everything set up. your stuff. <laughs> and leave my, I'm not going to take too many details, but the left hand is free. <laughs> Let's just put it like that. When it's time for the volleyball, no, I was, <laughs> I'm, I'm just joking. But but but, what if women in basketball? I, the numbers, I think the numbers would reflect that in terms mm-hmm. of they would expand their popularity because some of the women are 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 at, in in the WNBA are absolutely beautiful. Mm-hmm. And if they were like maybe wore some of the vo- more volleyball like, and I know people are going to get on me because that's chauvinistic perhaps, but. I mean, if, if they want to make money by getting more viewership, expanding their viewership and popularity. Yeah. And the women, are they're not like their breasts aren't hanging out or there's no, you might have a little camel, camel toe. I would love to see that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm a camel toe watcher. Yeah. I, I don't am. think very many men would complain yeah. about the camel yeah, toe. I like, no. Yeah, uh-huh. I like a nice fat camel toe. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, like, is that new? That's sexy. Like, wouldn't you say like the popularity of camel toe I, Has it been something that's been pop- that you've known? Have you known us know. your I whole mean, life or what? I mean, obviously, I try I, as a woman. I try to avoid that unless oh. it's for oh, like a scene, yeah. and they're yeah. like yoga pants. So you very don't necessarily tight. like, you're like hmm, they're gonna love it if I pull this I, up. My you know, every so often, I'll wear like pants to the gym that I'm like, oh god, that's really camel toe ish. Yeah. Shit. Oh well, that's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> and and then when you do so, have you found that that men are kind of like trying to sneak? Have you like what is it like I'm to try- find out see a guy sneaking a peek? I don't know because I try to focus on like Which, actually working okay. out, because um, I you know I have my trainer so it's like kind of mm. nice. Um, but he he does make fun of me. Okay, so when you're working out, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I'm thanks for noticing. I want you to do something when you when you're working when you when you're at the gym, right? And you're working out in front of the mirror. Just look to your left or right and look and see you know what the guys. There's gonna be guys yeah, like I notice that if I'm like on the like elliptical elliptical or mm-hmm, something mm-hmm. like that. It's like I'll do a fast turn around and there's like. A row of guys all of, of a sudden behind yeah. me. Yeah. I was like, you guys weren't there like two yeah. minutes yeah. ago. I love that yep. shit. It's like all of a sudden Nor it gets do you quiet. Do the elliptical. Come yeah. on. Yeah. All of a sudden it gets quiet all around the gym. We're like, what the? F-? And then everybody's like, stop lifting and stuff. You hear the clicking and clanking. And yeah. Right, because like, they're not paying All of a sudden it's like, exactly. crickets. <laughs> what the hell? Nasty <laughs> boys. Yeah, there's this one uh, girl at my gym that goes and works out full makeup and i told my trainer oh. i'm like i'm gonna come in one day after work full makeup yeah and he's like that's la you know yeah I'm like, you he's should. like don't i won't train you <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, now now do before we get any far i want to make sure that we all get out our our, uh, our social connection social media now where can people find you um social Everywhere. platforms um my Twitter is Allison Moore XXX, and my Instagram is Allison underscore Moore XXX, and my website's Allison Moore XXX dot com, and all that fun stuff. All right, and I'm JD. On. Oh Everywhere. yeah, I'm on uh, uh, Twitter Johnny Depp, D E P T H. Uh, what else? What else? Twitter, Facebook Johnny Depp, Instagram Johnny is dangerous. Uh. Somebody took Johnny <laughs> Depp, man. Yeah, someone took. Mine yeah, too, they so took okay. it. So but you guys then, had to deal with that. Yeah, and, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And then I got um, my website, uh, <laughs> fuckmeblack dot com. Uh. That's yeah. pretty straightforward. I think I know yeah. what kind of website yeah. that is. Fuck, yeah, fuck me black. Uh, now, you're yeah. in redevelopment of your yes. website as well. Um, I'm excited because I have a whole bunch. Of, uh, I've been doing mostly exclusive content, so mm-hmm. it's a lot of uh, content you're not going to see anywhere else. That's so. the, now, do you want to give it, you want to let people know what it, what the name of it is? Or? It's the same, com and... Right now, it's still where it's at right now, but um, in January, right before AVN, it'll be 
all brand new. Oh, uh, yeah. Now, as Redesign. a matter of fact, we just had Avian nominations yes. um, and x nominations, but did you, were you nominated this year? Yes, MILF Performer of the Year. Oh, congratulations. Wait, congratulations, but yeah. MILF? Yeah, yeah, yeah I've yeah, been well. shooting a lot of MILF stuff. You know, like, you were, like, the hottest, you know, but at 30, gosh, I you're think not she even was 30. Yet. Yeah. When she said 30, I That's what I'm saying. Like, I, I can, I would... I mean, I'd cast you as like... I mean, like, I know I'm not going to win because it's like, yeah. I'm with girls like Ava Adams, Lisa, you know, Anne, and, but it's just fucking awesome to be, right, to be considered, considered at the yeah. same yeah. caliber yeah. as yeah. them. Cause, and, that's, and MILF yeah. is, and is a major a, yeah, genre, genre now, mm-hmm. you know. Exactly. And it's not just the fan voting, but it's like also they're the AVN's main, mm-hmm. what they decide on. So I'm like, I'm just feel honored to be nominated oh, with such awesome ladies. Now, do you have anything on the list this year? Nah, not this year, man. Not this year. But okay. you know what? I may be going not to the award show, but I'm I'm gonna go to the AVN because the gonna... last couple of years I've kind of ne- neglected. Yeah. To go, I'm kind of like the the black sheep of the of the, of the porno. Aww. Nah, you gotta show up because and, I gotta and, show up. Yeah, nah, you I haven't know? shown up in a while, but yep. I think I because I got some business that I have to to attend to up there. You know, Formula R three, I'll be pumping that and. Still, you know, shooting some stuff here and there as far as the production is concerned. But, you know, man, this I don't know how big it's going to be this year because I know from mm-hmm. the last couple of years it's been pretty small. But right, I but I think the last couple of years were better than, say, the last two years okay. were better than the, the, the two or three years that, that were prior to that. Yeah. Okay. Whereas when it was, remember when it was at LA yeah. Convention Center, yeah, it was man. a huge venue. Right back in the day, it used to be crazy crowded. Mm-hmm. And then as it, as you know, people stopped coming as often because now there's a million shows that they can attend across the country. Got you. But when they moved it to Hard Rock, I think that when they moved to a smaller mm-hmm. venue, oh, right? What ha- okay. you know, yeah. everybody um, now when is, it was at the Sands. That's what I'm saying. LA yeah. Convention, or I'm sorry, I said LA Convention, yeah, Las yeah, Vegas, Las Vegas. Yeah. the Sands, right? Yeah, the Sands. Right. So it's um, not there anymore. No, no it's wow. at the Hard Rock, um, yeah. and they have mm-hmm. two separate rooms, which is like kind of three. Yeah. Oh yeah. Because remember, they three now. The two yeah. big rooms, and then where the where the um, the actual the arena where the awards yeah. show. That's a whole other area too. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. So Hard Rock is that a hotel or that's a Hard Rock? Cafe and Casino. Mm-hmm. Okay. They've got two big, it'll be like two big rooms. You like know the where regular they have the concert okay. joint is where right. they have the award show at. And they yeah. have that room Yeah, so I'm too. so used to it being at the convention center. Like the, That's the, what I'm saying. Yeah. There's almost like a resurgence yeah. of the show I because. 2011 and t- was the last time it was at Probably right. Sands? Could have been at the Sands. Sands. Yeah, at that big four convention hall. And it was hall. kind of like. Two. 12, dead. 11 and 12 were 11, last 12, years. Yeah, it was yeah. kind of dead. Kinda dead. Yep. Yeah. And then the last two years have been slowly coming back a little Could bit, it seems back. like. Yeah. Now, do you tour at all or do you, do you yeah, dance? Yeah, I feature dance. I'm going to be in, uh, I should have promoted that, uh, Pittsburgh in January 8th-ish. And then um, Tampa at Bear Assets. So, so you're going from Penhouse, Pittsburgh to Tampa. Yeah. Penthouse, Pittsburgh in January. And then Tampa... Their assets in February. Uh, yes. Nice. Follow my Twitter and I'll put it on there. Okay. I'm so bad about that stuff. Right, yeah, well, so I'm featured dancing. Yeah, you gotta pull it out. <laughs> now, now, JD, are you going to be on the East Coast for the holidays at all, or, uh, or no? I'm thinking about it. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Because AVN is what January, January yeah. 22nd. I'm oh, yeah. so mad they changed the dates on that. Yeah. They changed. I mean, because they, they moved it later. later. Yeah, because yeah. that's the first week of class for me. So I'm like, ah. Uh, well, okay. Yeah, see, there we go. Funny. Now, Allison, you're also a student as well as yes. a mom as yes. well as a wife. Yes. Wow. I just put all your personal shit out there. Well, like, that's okay. Everybody just throw it out there like, what? It just ruined the fantasies of many a man. That were like, I can still have her, yeah. only in my <laughs> hand. <laughs> the dream remains. Now they know. So what are you studying? Psychology is my major. Wow. Mm. Mostly uh, behavioralism. Mm-hmm. So. Uh, now, do you want to consult? Or what is what, um, what direction do you want to do ultimately with? Ultimately, um, like, it's kind of great as it's just... A, psychologist? Yeah, yeah. Uh, just um, an um, ABA, which is um, basically you work with either autistic kids or ADHD oh. kids. Oh, okay. and cool. It's just a certification process, So mm-hmm. whereas versus a state license where they would... For state license, they'd be like, oh, you did porn? So sorry. But oh, like a certificate, they're yeah. like, oh, you qualify okay. and you're a good standing citizen? Yeah, you, right. can, yeah. you can do that, you know, oh. so... Yeah, probably. I'm going to um, start interning at a regional center in like um, South Central because it's like mm. I'm going to get the best experience there wow. and there's going to be, you know. It's really an underserved environment. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's like, needs, and I'm going to get sure. a better job. Mm. I hate to say this. I'm going to get a better job where I'm actually doing good uh, there yeah. than I am like 
say, you know, Malibu or something uh-huh. like mm-hmm. that. You know what I mean? Right. And, it's, it's and that's be a kind of the point job is it's a too. rewarding job. You like kids? I like my kids. <laughs> and, uh, right, right, right. Other people's Funny kids enough. are mostly to, in my. Uh, a lot of people's kids are really spoiled. I mean, mm-hmm. that's why I like kids that have like you know autism or ADHD or like you know they're, they're just sweeter. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. More, but it, but certainly enough a challenge yeah. that you're going to have to take on in dealing with these. And if you love kids, I mean, I love kids. I don't have any. Are, do you have any kids? I no kids. Just a niece and a nephew. Yep, I got two nephews. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, kids. no kids. No kids. Uh-huh. Maybe he wasn't in the stars. No. Uh, well, at a certain point, you're starting to wonder, like, man, Is this like, gonna happen? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, like, you know, you know, it doesn't happen. We yet. getting up there, yeah. man, before you know it, it we'll like, be, you know, what I mean, Hawaii. <laughs> 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 no doubt. I, I have, after that. You yeah, know I mean? <laughs> plans for Jamaica. I, I, I know where I'm gonna go th- to retire. Mm. Yeah. I'm not gonna, yeah, because I, you know, it's too expensive. Jamaica, I heard, is really fun. It's really funny, and you could live, you could live nicely. Yeah. Um, you know, comfortably, mm-hmm. you know, what I'm saying pretty much all I need is cable or digital Good. TV. I need internet and cable. Internet and cable. I, that yeah. That's I mean, I ultimately it. I want to move uh, to know? Scotland because that's where my family's from. Mm. So I'm going to apply for a- after working here in LA for a yeah. I'm going to apply there for you know master's wow. and PhD yeah. program. I want to go there. So now bad. I know you're from California. It's a lot of rain, but I'll survive. When oh, you yeah. get around your relatives, you can you kick in? Can you kick out a kick out an accent? Does it does it kick no, in when you're around your people? No, my dad had a terrible accent. <laughs> Not terrible. <laughs> no, because he but, grew up in. He's born and raised uh, to like you know eight nine in New York, and then he mm. was uh, grew up in Switzerland at a boarding school. Uh-huh. But his family is from England and Scotland, so wow. he'd go back and forth. So it's like he would say the fucking weirdest things so some some so some words would be like, like coffee but then it's then like, like totally would be like hey wait wait i heard coffee. a little um no no not uh, totally yeah, yeah, i heard yeah. a little <laughs> irish or scottish in there right right she Don't threw it in my there. accent yeah I, I caught that i'm kind of weird you know what I'm saying? so yeah things are yeah I and mean, he's been long past but yeah, still yeah, it's yeah. it's funny the different uh, accent stuff is yeah funny. <laughs> you get those things out you yeah. can catch me at lex steel 11 um, on Twitter and uh, Lexington.steel on Instagram and um, Facebook. Look for Lexington Steel Black Viking on Instagram. So, you know, before we get out of here tonight, um, just want to, I want to, I want to go back to um, uh, what's happening right now out there. Um, is there anything that you guys would like to say to your fans that are watching? You mm-hmm. know, what I'm saying fans that have known you since you started. Giant fans know you since you started. What would you want to communicate to people that 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 feel you and listen to you um, in regards to what's happened, um, what needs to happen, um, where are we going, where will this end? As far as which issues that we're talking, oh, there's about. only one. is central issue. Um, when okay. I, I uh, let me tell you something. When I get home, I'm going right back in front of the yeah, TV. Yeah, I want to watch that now. Yeah, that's I now that be. I heard that. Uh, yeah, president spoke. I'll be on CNN I mean, all night. It's kind of. I, I, my, like I said, my opinion skewed because my dad was shot by a cop, oh. and that's how he passed away. So that's why I'm like, I feel like there should be mm. some sort of justice, mm-hmm. um, because I never got that. Okay. You know wow. what I'm saying? So that's why I said my right. opinion skewed. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, I know what the Brown family is going through, and right. it's terrible. It's absolutely terrible. It's heart wrenching. I feel, I feel terrible for them because it's, yeah. it's just bottom line. It's just not fair. It's not right. Yeah. You know. I mean, there's there's right and wrong in this world, and you know, you feel like and they got the fuzzy end of the stick. I hate yeah, saying it, yeah, but, but it's exactly. Yeah, mm-hmm. these things are true. Hard, hard words. Hard, hard, hard realities. Yeah, yep. it is. Um, especially because it hits you. You've actually dealt with a certain yeah, chance, and I mean, you know? like, you know, and the thing about it is, there's not a question of retribution. It's a question of justice. Just, like justice. justice. Yeah, justice. exactly. You know, exactly. I mean, and I know as. Um, a family member what they probably want is mainly an apology mm-hmm. but you know we all know that won't happen no because well, well, it, it admits know, it admits guilt so you someone know. else will apologize on you know on perhaps, behalf, on behalf right, right, right. it's still not the same mm-hmm. you mm-hmm. know true i don't know i just i just i really wish i mean knowing that this country's history um it's just really sad that it's 2014 right and this I hate to say this, shit still happens. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Nah, you're right. It's just, I mean, I don't know. My my take on it, man, is just like, I'm not really surprised. 
you know and people sit there and say why would you say that i'm like look man rodney king got his ass whipped <laughs> on and television then they did the trial and, and they did the trial and, and got off which is yeah. the whitest America yeah, and, and in got Southern off, like, California whip, whip dude's ass like and it was showing in front of millions and millions of people and this dude got his ass whipped and everybody was like okay I know they go, I know those cops going down cause I felt like that like I know mm. these cops going down like they got it right there in black and white they kicked his yeah. ass yeah got off Zimmerman like I said yeah, got off. It was like a, just the like, justice. It's, yeah, what was the like, movie? It's a pattern, man. It's the movie like, about um, the guy that was killed in the subway. They made a movie about it. Um, the oh. actor Michael Jordan played the part. Huffington. Oh, uh, you talking about uh, Fruitville. Fruitville, oh. Fruitville oh. Station. Yeah. Yeah. Fruitville Station in Oakland. Right. Yeah. Made, yeah. Made, it made into a major motion picture. Right. Look, what about yeah. my man in Staten Island? The dude. The Manuel heavy... Duallo? No, no, no. no Didn't not. Sledgehammer was... have something similar? Yeah, same thing with Sledgehammer. Mm, he was sh- he was shot by an officer? No, no he, he was uh, tasered and it was like, gave him a heart attack or something yeah, like that? He was tased. Really? Yeah. Because a cop thought he was what? I don't know. Cop, well, wow. something. I don't know exactly. what it was that they had him on the on the on the gurney or something, and they had him hand cover something to that effect. And the and taser still going off or something. Yeah, yeah he and it's he, like he broke he broke free from the gurney. I don't know what was wrong with him, but they tased him. Man, he had a heart attack. Wow. Yeah, they tased him. But no, it was a heavy set guy um, who lived out on Staten Island. And the cop choked him to death, and they got it. You go look it up on YouTube. Uh, he had totally him. In, yeah. He had him in a uh, some type of choke one, hold or something. Choke hold mm-hmm. or something. And the dude, <laughs> the dude was like at least three hundred pounds. Uh-huh. And he took them, took him down. And you can hear the guys like, "Okay, I can't breathe. I can't breathe." You can hear him saying, "I can't breathe. I can't breathe." Officer steady yeah, choked him out. Now, oh now, he, now the officer probably wasn't. No, I'm, I'm not. I'm not even playing devil's advocate here, but just simply enough. Perhaps the cop was trying to exercise that move where you put someone to sleep by by oxygen um, deprivation. Yeah, and but, then the guy ended up right, but if he dying wasn't, from it, yeah, huh? Yeah. He wasn't posing a sleeper hold, yeah. a sleeper yeah. hold yeah. but he wasn't posing a threat. And if I'm if I'm a cop, and like say if you're a cop and you choke, it's almost like do the right thing. Remember that movie? Yeah, where he choked mm-hmm. him out. He was like. The uh the Dutta man, not the Dutta yeah, man, uh, it was the same uh, guy. Uh, but Radio Rahim. Radio Rahim, yeah, 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 yeah. He choked him out. And if I saying if I'm saying to you like, I got my hand okay, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Since another like, okay, I'm gonna let you go. What you gonna do to me? You defenseless, you can't breathe. I just cut your air off. Yeah. Dude was like, I can't breathe. Mm-hmm. Saying, I can't breathe, I can't breathe. He, he kept choking him. He choked him out till he till he died, man. Wow. You died wow. right there on the street. Well the, yeah, I, it's <laughs> And yeah. like like you said, Allison, it, it is 2014, and we wonder um, at what point we could, you know, find ourselves getting passes. And I do think that um, it is time that we took that people took the opinions of um, people that have objective views that don't that don't have a, a, um, a dog or a pony in the race, right. if you will, yeah. mm-hmm. from other, you know, maybe from maybe watch BBC and then and see their other people's inter- other right. in, intelligent interpretations. Of our realities, I think that that would be a way that we can expand our our, our conception mm-hmm. of what mm-hmm. we're dealing with, and and that may help us to move forward in such a way that these things would happen less. You know, what's so funny, Lex. To add on to that, I don't think America think they're being watched because the the way they behave. Like mm-hmm. this is mm-hmm. some this is some shit that would have gone on in the sixties with right. the civil rights. But it was hitting us with the dog with the with the hoses yes. and sicking the dogs on and most people across the across the water were like, Man, we thought y'all was over that shit. Yeah, right. they're like Yeah, y'all the still doing the, the same the shit. Yeah. Like, yo, you did that thirty years ago. Yeah. Like, yeah. yo, come on, cut it out. Like when yeah. when is enough is enough? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, and I and like I said, I don't think Americans think they're being watched because if they if you knew you was being watched, you would you would you would fall back on your behavior. And that goes back to what you said earlier, Allison, about the cops in in the UK right. don't carry weapons yeah, because carry Even their Japan, country. Well, I don't know about Jim, but in the UK, yeah, in Japan, yeah. they they have cameras everywhere, mm-hmm. so the surveillance is such that they, in a moment's notice, the cops that have a gun yeah. will be there relatively right. soon. I, what are they called? But, I don't know. But Tories. They, yes. But they don't have like a lot of violent crimes over over they there. They did have some riots recently. Right, I don't remember when. Along racial, uh, Islamic, um, yes. yeah, yeah, religious, and religious, yeah, like but I'm you talking know, like straight up crime, like mm. over here, like yeah, what, like no. how yeah. we get down, like armed even, robbery and in Japan, and, as you were yeah, saying. Yeah, Japan, nah, man. Mm. So even if you do the population comparison, exactly. it's still a lower. Crime. I mean, right. and look, and Canada is our neighbor. Yeah. They, 
They don't be, they leave their doors unlocked. Mm. Like, what is it with America that makes us act this way? We love violence, dog. Well, well, we do, live man. in like yeah, the suburbs. I mean, look, yeah, <laughs> I, 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 mean, my I mean, look at the movies that are that are popular. I know. Well, look well, at the video games. Yes, yeah, but I mean, but violence, of course, is something that's been integral to to it has, it, but to, it's something to, about to our country. Yeah, really yeah, yeah, something about I mean, America, you know. man. Like, wh- why? Like, we don't have as many people as certain other countries, mm. but our crime rate is crazy. This is true. Our, yeah, this our, is true. our murder rate is crazy. It's right. just like what? What? What is it with Americans that? Like, you yeah, know? and um, somewhere I was saying they're like we've had so many school shooting since yeah, Columbine and yet the gun control issue is still mm-hmm. I mean I'm all about you know American rights you know yeah you have the right for this and that mm-hmm. and whatnot but it's like yeah I mean there's well, got to be something something well, that we could do as a society to make it better well I I, I will say this because a lot of people are definitely um the evidence the evidence seems to identifiably um, at least minimally indicate that there should have been some sort of indictment. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. But I, I will say that we have to bear in mind mm-hmm. that the officers, the gentlemen and the ladies, and the gentlemen and the women who have decided to put on that shield, mm-hmm. okay, they are definitely doing things. They are doing the heavy lifting mm-hmm. for us all. Now, in that, in their doing their responsibility, we have to give them a, a, a measure of respect mm-hmm. In the understanding that what they do puts them in harm's way, and they're putting themselves in harm's way, but you know for our protection. That is now, true. certainly enough. That may be only by way of of that might just be vernacular. That just may be supposition. You know, that may be no. That's you a, know, just that, words. That's yeah. a very good point. But here's the, the but the but the bottom line remains mm-hmm. is it's all about training. Yeah. Like, obviously, these officers are not being trained properly. Well, I mean, I I actually used to live in Simi Valley, mm-hmm. and um. I had several cop neighbors that mm. uh, basically are like, you know, I'd rather it be them than me because I want to go home to my family. See, and it, that statement right there, it's just kind of like, oh, exactly. Uh, so uh, what okay. happened to what, what's 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 the model they have on the side of their car? Protect, serve and protect, yeah. right. protect and serve. Mm-hmm. That don't sound like protecting and no. serving. You're like, okay, if you want to be a hot ass, I'm gonna put a hot one in you, and that's it, and I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna sleep well. And you'd be like, right. wow, dude, like, All what right. kind of mentality is that? <laughs> okay. Like, you know well, what I mean? I, I definitely feel... Yeah, I, it we, is kind of... That's crazy, it's but... It's kind of like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> what, what do you say to that? Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> and, 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 and I know that, like you said, Lex, there are certain neighborhoods where there are... Where a lot of assholes dwell. Right. But, and so on the same token, if you're a cop, you know what you signed up for. Exactly. Yeah. This is true. This is true. But by... But, and, 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 and they this, get paid. They get paid. It's just they to say... They pay that... They don't get paid that no, much. They don't get paid as like they should. They don't get paid they as don't. they should. They get short And maybe they'll though. be like, maybe That's that why they would. they don't care. Exactly. Maybe that would make the difference, you know? Yeah, give them a little more money, man, because the, them and firemen, like they. And they no, and teachers. Yeah, and teachers. I was going to say that. Teachers, teachers don't get that paid. Is, yeah, that is, stick. that is the craziest thing <clears throat> in the world. Right. Like when my, I have a friend of mine that's a teacher, and during the summer, mm-hmm. The jobs that she takes during the summer, because they don't get paid year round. Exactly. Well, you, mm. well, you can get it paid you every can, twelve months or, or just 10 in. Months so if she did the just the ten months thing, and during the summer, the jobs that she takes in the summer to make ends meet. It's like wow, this woman is is responsible for filling young minds, and we need to be making them most comfortable. These educators. Mm-hmm. Um, well, um, to that end, we will bring this episode of Let's Alive to a conclusion. Um, so many issues. You know, so, <laughs> many issues. <laughs> so many issues. And, and it is. It, it, we just. I just want to make sure that we did recognize that um, we know that all officers of the law are not um, in any way evil people. Um, we know that perhaps this had been an, uh, um, a, a, an episode that went uh, certainly terribly wrong mm-hmm. uh, for everyone involved. Mm-hmm. Um, how do we continue to mature and grow as a country? Yes, uh, it's a thing that we work on every single day. And uh, so what, what we can do here on Lex Live Show is, is bring you some light, some entertainment. Um, it's what we do in our media. Um, before we get out of here, would you like to say anything else on your way out, Allison? Well, thank you for watching my porn and paying for it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh yeah, please pay. <laughs> wow. And, and so they need to look for you, your movies, and your product. Where again? It's uh, Depth Entertainment Family and um, fuckmeblack.com. So. 
And then, of course, what about the 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 rise? I'm trying to rise rock. Oh, yeah. I got got a birthday coming up Friday. That's right. That's right. I I, I still got to. You gotta give me a couple yeah, of I things. I gotta get you, man. I, I want yeah. two. I want four. I gotta get you. I got a long man. night Friday. Uh oh. <laughs> That's right. Your birthday is coming. Oh, happy birthday! Happy birthday! Are you happy like thirty five again? I, you know, I'm yeah. gonna be thirty five for the next twenty five yeah. years. <laughs> I hear you. Let's I just say you. I'm, I'm gonna be thirty for the next twenty five. Okay. Years. Well, I'm the new thirty five. There you go. Like when when I was forty, it was like the forty is the new thirty. Yeah, exactly. Let's just say that. You know, when you were 40, yeah, that's what they <laughs> what, hey, whatever Jay Z says. If Jay Z says, you know, 42 is the new 32, that's uh, how old I am. Then, yeah, <laughs> I'll let, I'll let, I'm let Jay Z call it mid 30s, but yeah, yeah, uh, Formula R3, all natural sexual enhancement for men, you know. So, don't you know, don't, if you don't want any side effects, this is where you need to come. No back aches, no, no headaches, no um, blurred vision like those. Other things out there I won't mention. Uh-huh. Those drugs. Uh-huh. You want to come over here when it's all natural. All right. So for all the good people here at the Lex Live Show, we want to thank you for joining us tonight here on a wonderful um, November 24th. And as we anticipate the arrival of this year's Thanksgiving Day, mm-hmm. enjoy your food, enjoy your turkey, and yes, we sir. will see you next Monday. Peace. Peace. You're listening to Lexington Steel Live with Lexington Steel and Michelle G. Right here on LA Talk Radio.